excited as this fight gets underway. And you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist. But on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five-tool. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Both guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early going. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh! He loaded up there on that high kick. Oh, good job defensively to block the strike there by Poirier. There's no give on that leg. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Lance, uh, Lancing right hand upstairs. He engages in the single collar tie. Oh, beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming, or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. Look at the flip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Single collar tie now. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Double jab here. Oh! Ooh, diving punch, man. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves his moment. Won't finish his fight. Oh, hook shot blocked there by Poirier. Oh! Great punch. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Ah, that jab hurt him. Not only will this affect his ability to stand, but he can't really set down on his punches and he won't generate the power that he normally generates because he can't really get heavy on his leg. Poirier gets tagged by that stiff jab. Nice job by Dustin Poirier there. Sticks the target and then moves his head off the center line to avoid the, the comeback shot. Head off the center line and watch him counter with that beautiful straight left that he throws over and over. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. What a punch. And they separate. Oh, hard work pays off. Lands the Superman punch flush. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Oh, nice, nice right here. Visibly limping here. So 37 total strikes have landed for Dustin the Diamond Poirier. He is throwing a fast, straight, hard jab. That's not a fuel jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbows tucked to the ribs. The jab goes out. The jab comes right back to the face. It's picture-perfect technique, almost like a title nice blast or something like that. Right. And this might just be a matter of time. Guard here, DC. We'll see how soon he tries to pass. Well, he needs to be passing immediately. 
in the full guard is where you are in most danger as a top fighter because they have all of their submissions. They have the guillotine, they have the arm bar, they have the kimuras, they have all their locks when they're in the full guard. So if you pass, you really do limit the danger that you're in from the top position. Well, actually, there's the end of the round. You ready? You ready? Second round underway. Nice punch land over the top. Beautiful straight punch there. His boxing fundamentals are just so good. Oh, he looks so sharp tonight. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Punch his block. Look at him. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, big left. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. And they separate. Poirier does a better job when he's the guy going forward. Oh, how good is that Poirier jab? He's got huge hands and certainly was able to... His head's still attached to his body. The last time I saw an uppercut like that, it was Overeem versus Ngannou. And you know they still haven't found Alistair Overeem's head. Nice kick. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that off. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, huge hook. Oh, single collar tie here. And they separate. Nice punch there. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Punch coming, it's blocked. Another shot lands upstairs. Oh, beautiful counter with the jab. A real sneaky head kick gets in there. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he had one takedown is easy to do. Two. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, close guard now. You got to be careful, though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation... He's gonna start trying to move to a submission here. It looks like he's trying to attack an arm triangle. Watch triangle, watch triangle! And he's out. All right, gotta be careful playing around inside his guard. Absolutely, John, that's why you don't sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, it gives these guys too many opportunities to chase submissions, and now he's jumping on a triangle. Right hand on point. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates distance and space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. 
All right, the referee not seeing enough action there. We go back to the center of the octagon now. Nice punch, win. Tries the flying knee to no avail. corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. display of striking here tonight. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Oh, big punch man. Oh, just out of range with that right hand. Got the single collar tie. with the right hand. Can't take any of those, you better check. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never... Oh. There. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Oh, and now the hip toss in a great position now to dole out damage. He did a great job of stepping all the way across to get that hip toss. Now look for him to start chasing down a submission. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. And a nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost art in mixed martial arts. The guys that found it they are fighting behind him real well. Beautiful strike. Nice head kick. Oh, nice right hand. Three minutes now to go to decide this one. Oh! Oh! And just like that, the fight is over! It's over! It's over! Oh, my goodness, what a fight. Yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel. That's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighters saw it coming. So a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. And there he is after a massive knockout here tonight. Nearly 